hello good day guys you're welcome again to my channel i am joshua the designer and this day i've come to give you a very simple tutorial following a question we received in the comment section a few days ago from one of our subscribers and i'm just going to create the solutions um to the question in simple steps and so the subscriber asked he said for the diameter of the reinforcement in my system it's denoted as h12 h16 etc how do i change this for some people what they have in their own case is such that the diameter of reinforcement is denoted as r12 r16 r20 and whatever just as it as it, as it may be this is just responding to your material selections and uh, once you correct it from that end it should respond um definitely prop in a proper way so um this is what we'll do to create that solution in simple step right you discover that before um you begin to run your analysis after your modeling um you'd want to check your material so if you click on run this is csc orion and i believe that you all are um, aware checking the run you go to building analysis and from building analysis after that you have um, this stuff already then you check the edit material now this edit material when you check the steel grade the y um, representation for the high yield bar is as a result of the fact that you have selected a high yield reinforcement in your design to be applied and the har whenever you see the har is such that you are applying a mild steel in your design so it's responding based on the selection of your steel grades so um, you want to check through this material now you see that steel grade you see grade 410 all through and now when you use a grade 410 steel it's um, a high yield reinforcement so when you check through your other settings for any of your elements you discover that um, the selection would give y whatever diameter it is right but let's try something out here but before that let's confirm what reinforcement um, is working with what we have here now okay so let us go to the settings and let's do slab settings the steel bars now when you check the steel bars you see that the minimum steel bar for example says y12 that is to say that the iu bar will be applied all through in our design so what if the steel grade changes from what we have already to something different let's see how it responds to our steel grade selection uh, in that way so when we edit the material then you click the grade steel grade and let's select grade 250 and be sure about what grade 250 is um, we apply to all members or the member type which is okay right so applying that means that you are using a steel grade of 250 and is actually a mild steel selection so let's click ok and let's see what applies in our so sorry for this let's see what applies in our design right so settings and we get to slab design settings. steel bars now looking at that steel bars now you see that automatically the steel bar selection has changed to r so it means that each time you are seeing h r or y in your steel results or your um, design results for reinforcement is as a function of your material selection before your uh, before running your design so if, if you want to correct this or if you want to change this you know where to go now you first have to find your way down to the building analysis and from the building analysis you can select your materials appropriately then from there you once you're done here selecting your materials appropriately then everything gets um, into the right selection as you would 
in your design so if you have further questions you can please use the comment section i'll be there to give you um, the right and appropriate answer thank you for staying around we'll meet in the next video but do not forget to like this video subscribe to this channel share with your friend that should get better in structural engineering till we meet again i'm joshua the designer bye